Nestled in the Elkhorn Mountain Range of Oregon's Blue Mountains is a stylish, functional, and practical cabin known as the Timber Tiger Lodge. The tallest peak in the area is the 9,106-foot Rock Creek Butte. With views as far as the eye can see, the Timber Tiger Lodge is an ideal destination for anyone wanting to get away from it all. Stay tuned after the tour for an interview with lodge owner Tom Walker. Follow me. All right. Well, let's fire up the generator. That's all it takes. Lights come on, we're good to go. This is awesome. One push button fires all everything up. When you go to bed at night, you hit the red button, shuts everything down. So pretty smooth operation here. So this is the bowl room, well-stocked bar, cool tables here. These planks were cut off timbers right off the property here. It's really cool, cool spot. And Tom mentioned we're gonna do some trap shooting this afternoon. Our annual trap shooting trophy right here. What's this? Oops, look at that. So <laughs> anyways, it's a great time up here. This is a great place to sit around. A lot of hunting stories told here. Uh, a lot of tall tales. Great place. Well, welcome to the rec room. Pretty cool spot here. Full-size pool table. Another bar up here going into the kitchen. Plenty of tables, sit around. This is where we have lunch quite often. Down on this end is the media center. If you bring videos, you can watch videos, stereo equipment, music. The whole place is wired for sound. It's pretty cool. Sit out in the front porch and listen to music, have a beer, that's cool. And Tom's got lots of photos around here. He does a hunt of a lifetime, volunteers with kids to find their dream hunt. Lots of pictures, history of the lodge. Great place. Okay, here we're in the living room with the, the wood stove that we use for heat here. Heats the place great. This is a three-story, 2,500 square foot lodge. And this atrium here, it's got some pretty cool mounts up here. And just, just really awesome work that Tom and his, his friends have done up here. All the stone on this fireplace is locally brought up from the local river down below. This is a kitchen, fully functional kitchen. Refrigerator, freezer, sink, microwave, oven, coffee maker, loaded with utensils. So you just need to bring your food and that's it, everything else you need's here. So every knob and cabinet door handle in this place is made out of deer horns from deer that they've harvested here locally. Pretty cool. Here's the bathroom, fully functional shower, toilet, sink, stocked with toilet paper and all the essentials, good to go. Let's go upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. Come on. So all the rooms in the lodge have a theme. This is the jail room. Sleeps up to three in here. It's one of my favorite rooms actually. And this is the cowboy room. Just sleeps one in here. Pretty cool little spot really. And this is the bear room. Of 
queen size bed, comfortable bed too. This is where I stay when I come here. So we're on the second floor, which we just looked at the second floor bedrooms. And this couch here is another nice place if you have a little overflow, some extra people here. This is another place to, uh, somebody can sleep. Let's go up to the third floor. And here's the buffalo room. Another queen size bed. And this is the bordello, full size bed. So another cool feature here is we talked about the generator. When you shut the generator off at night, it turned the lights off. Tom's installed motion sensor, battery powered lights all down the stairway. So if you have to get up at night, you can, as soon as you walk by the lights, they'll turn on and illuminate the stairs for you. Let's go check out the gun room. Come on in. So here we've got another twin bed, fold out couch, beautiful view of the valley out of this room. Okay, let's go check out the grounds around the lodge now. Like I said, there's a generator shack over here, so let's go take a look. Hey, Annabelle. How you doing? There's a generator shack. It keeps this place powered. Tom keeps it fueled up. It's really slick. This whole generator system works great. And I don't know if you can hear it. It's really pretty quiet. When you're inside the lodge, you can't even tell this thing's running except that the lights are on. Then we also talked about our trap shooting. This is where we do our trap shooting right here. Beautiful view while we're doing that. The fire pit, we had, have great fires down here every evening and it's just awesome down here when it's clear like this, the stars are out, you can see the lights of the valley, awesome place. Let's go check out the back porch. Okay, so this is my favorite place first thing in the morning to come have my coffee. Sit down here, look out over this valley, the hillside over there. Last time I was here, we saw elk, deer, and even a black bear on that hillside over there. Every year we see game animals over there. It's pretty cool. Here's the grill area, barbecue, hood vent, Great place. Even if it happens to be cold, you're up here and uh, when it's snowing a little bit or raining, you've got a great place in the dry here to do the whole barbecue thing. So down here, Tom's built a fish pond, nice big deck. He's got a little storage shed down here. You can see where he keeps some of his old materials and it's a large extra parking area for extra vehicles down here so it really supports everybody quite well so this is a stage when tom does his annual music event up here in august this is where the bands play We've got a dance floor downstairs beautiful view out over the valley awesome so from the My Backyard Boys, thanks for checking out the Timber Tiger Lodge with us. Hope we see you up here soon. Oh man, today, I mean, you can see, you can see all the way, man. Look at this, holy it smoke. It is just awesome. So tell me, Tom, what are we seeing out here? Well, if you, on, a, on a good clear day, the furthest range you see out there is the Seven Devils. So in, we're in Idaho? You're, 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 you're looking at Idaho here. So wow. here you're in Oregon and you can reach right over and touch your neighbors. Cool, cool. And it's just the whole Baker Valley here. And as, as you can see at this time of the year, it's so pretty, man. Everything's so nice and green. And, and today. The, and the Eagle Cap Mountains. You got and it. the snow on them, they look like they're floating out there. And as you can see, we had one hell of a winter this year.
this year, and the snow is uh, at this time of the year. Look at how far down it is. I yeah, mean, yeah, water that's incredible. In our droughts, I think this year is going to be a blessing for us. Right man. on, right on. Boy, the valley's beautiful, all green. Yeah, I, I can find myself if, if, if any time I'm slowing down, I think this is where I would stand and just. Yeah, the world. no kidding, no the kidding. This is awesome. But it's awesome to see you here. Hey, Gosh, man, dang good to it. see Long you again. Those three, man. Look and forward look. to it every year, man. It's the highlight. Like I say, we've got a few people here right now, so if there's some things that are kind of out of place, it's just bear oh, with us. No it's problem. Just to entertain that's, them and make sure they're comfortable. That's what this place is all about, man. Yeah, that's Getting what people we try. Together. We try. Right on, right on. So, Tom, when did you get this place? Well, you know, as you get older, your mind gets a little slip so yeah. let me add up here i think it was 94 when we first purchased okay it. And, right on uh, we've been working on it ever since and I, I wish there was two of me at times that i had sure. a twin to give me a hand because the, there's there is so much work but I, I have to say with all the friends and family that has helped over the years it's made what this place is today wow and that's I, awesome i did we just hope everybody enjoys what we've done because it's what we have made for what we i guess represent awesome. uh, our way of life and so sure as you'll see as you're going through it in the past you've seen it but there is changes and uh we always like to have somebody say wow that's different and yeah. new but that's cool. that's what we're looking for to catch your eye on cool stuff, so cool so a lot of the materials in here you've got from right in the in the local area from the place here and the 40 acres up the canyon, yeah, we've taken it down to the ranch down below and milled it and brought it back to the mountain. So we've salvaged what we've taken and tried to utilize it to the best, man. Awesome, so. awesome. And you've got all kinds of antiques and kind of curiosities in here, and those all came out of the local area also? From family and stuff and friends, and yes, things that represent the area and what we're all about. Wow try to bring the past back to us and right walk on. around and go, oh God, I remember this. Or I remember sure, that. sure. It's just a lot of, if anybody's been to Knott's Berry Farm and, and that type of scenario right. or what, what they do there, this is what we're trying to represent. The way the past was and have different things that set up looking like the old, but yet it's today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? that's awesome, cool. Okay, Tom, so we're like at 5,400 feet here, so obviously you get a lot of snow up here in the wintertime, so what months are you operating up here? We're usually here in our first part of getting it unwinterized. Right. It's probably at the end of April, okay. first of May, okay. and usually we have a family gathering with my kids and everybody come up and we'll get this thing fully back and ready sure. to roll. And then we, we go until November, say about the second week in November. The okay. cold start hitting. We have a spring-fed water system. Okay. We're off the grid, so we have generator power. Sure. So at that point, it becomes a little inconvenient, and we find ourselves that we just come up here after that time on snowshoes every weekend. We hike up in here right. and, and cool. keep it. So in those between May and November, come and see us, man. Right on. We, awesome. We have an open book, and uh, cool. get a hold of us and find out our dates. We have certain programs that we have during the year, and it, it, a party that we have that we've been doing for 14 years, uh, a kind of a celebration of life that we bring a live band up here, and it, it's uh, we invite everybody from town, and uh, it's it's quite a time. Cool. And this year it's in in August, and, uh, and then we have our little group gathering like this weekend. You happen to be coming in. Sure. We have a family here up here on a memorial thing that come up here every year. We have a skeet shoot that we're going to do this afternoon, and it's just awesome. two things that are really pretty important to us. Awesome. There. So Looking between that to and seeing friends, man, I just look forward to every weekend. Cool, cool, That's cool. awesome. You do some weddings and things up here too? Or? Weddings, receptions, and we can do, we can try to, to help you with anything or any type of gathering you got. If we, if we can do it, we'll, we'll go out of our way to make it happen for you. It's a great place. So a come great check us out, place. man. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. So how many people can you um, support here? For I would say comfortably, Oh, I could say comfortably, sure. 10 to 12. Okay. And, but it, we could make it for more. We've had as many as 20. No kidding. And wow. it's just a matter of maybe throwing an extra sleeping bag down on the floor next to a bed if it's family members. But right. We can make it work, man. If you've got that outdoor lifestyle and you want to be here, we can make it fun awesome. for you.